A beautiful day outside today. We did have some clouds overnight and lingering into this morning, but quickly moving on out of the area and that allowed for a lot of sunshine and temperatures to warm up to 84 degrees in Eugene. That is two degrees above average for this time of year and two degrees cooler than what we saw yesterday. High temperatures across the rest of the area, 82 in Corvallis, 84 in Roseburg. Bend, you topped out at 73 degrees. Out along the coast in North Bend getting up to 72 degrees. Of course, Brookings still beating you at 79 degrees, but uh, further up to the north, Newport, you got up to 64 degrees this afternoon. Right now, our temperatures are slowly cooling off. We're in those low 60s from Newport down to North Bend. Along I-570s, 70s Corvallis and Cottage Grove, but Eugene and Roseburg still holding on to those low 80s, just a few degrees shy of our high temperature for today. We saw 70 right now in Bend and 66 in Sun River. A lot of sunshine out there, a few cumulus clouds throughout this afternoon and into the evening, but again, a beautiful end to Friday and also the work week, and we'll keep it fairly quiet as we get into to the overnight hours. Now there is a pretty impressive low pressure system just to our north and east. And this is actually was enhanced by that low that worked its way down the coast yesterday uh, that brought us those clouds in overnight. But now this low is bringing some shower storms into Idaho, Montana, also back into Canada as well as Washington there. But nothing for our area. We will keep it quiet as we get into tonight. That low is going to push on off to the east and we're looking at high pressure to move in this weekend. It's centered out over the Pacific Ocean, but this will continue to build into our area, take full control, center itself right over us once we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. And those so happen to be the two hottest days that we're expecting over the next seven days. I'll let you know how hot in just a second. But first, let's take a look at Stormcast over the next 24 hours. I'll put things into motion. Again, a lot of sunshine continuing out there. Marine clouds returning along the coast, not expecting them to extend too far inland through those coastal gaps. And as we get throughout the day tomorrow, early tomorrow morning again still going to look at those clouds out there along the coast everyone else fairly quiet and that's going to continue throughout the entire day maybe some nice cumulus clouds popping on up but aside from that it should be another gorgeous day to the weekend temperatures along the coast tomorrow afternoon be in those mid 60s so a little bit breezy winds out of the north 10 to 15 miles per hour those in the Umpqua Basin expect your highs back into those mid 80s in the afternoon the Cascades in the foothills in those low 80s over the passes into the upper 60s near 70 degrees Central Oregon expect your highs into the mid 70s a lot of sunshine again tomorrow and for the Willamette Valley expect our high temperatures back into those mid 80s keeping it very sunny but it's going to be a bit breezy winds will be out of the north 5 to 15 miles per hour with some gusts possible up to 25 miles per hour. Here's a look at the 7 day forecast along the coast. We're looking at marine clouds to return Saturday night into Sunday morning and then again on Monday but temperatures still remaining nice and warm at least for the coast mid to upper 60s out there so not too bad. For those of the Amqua Basin expect your temperatures to stay in the mid to upper 80s through Monday but we don't stop there. Mid 90s, both Tuesday and Wednesday with high pressure right over us. A little bit of offshore flow as well. So air coming from over the continent, which is warmer than the air that sits over the ocean. The Cascades, you're looking at temperatures to climb into those low 70s over the passes by Sunday into the upper 70s, Tuesday and Wednesday. For those in the foothills, add about 10 degrees on to these temperatures. And for the Willamette Valley, expect your highs mid 80s this weekend, even into Monday, but by Tuesday and Wednesday did bump up temperatures by a degree or two into those low 90s guys they just don't want to leave us we still have some summer left Good. out there